Hello everyone, here in this section we have vectors. So in this part we have a component form and we have initial point, we have terminal point, so we have A to B, so this is our vector. The direct line segment from A to B is called vector. Here we have the definition, the vector represented by the directed line segment from A to B has initial point A, the part that I had here, and terminal point B, which was this one. Um, and its length is uh, using what they have here, its absolute value of AB. So this part we have from A to B. Two vectors are equal if they have same length and direction. Now in this part, a vector uh, from P to Q uh, in standard position has its, again, initial point at origin, which is here, this part. The direct line segment from P to Q and V are parallel and have the same length. So what we have here, this point P, Q, this vector, so this is from P to Q, that is parallel to what we have here starting origin. So this point, which is for our component V1, V2, V3. So here again we have the definition, we're going to use V for vector. So if V is two-dimensional vector in the plane equal to the vector with initial point and the uh, at the origin and the terminal point, we have this component V1, V2, then the component form of V is, so here we have V1, comma V2 is our component. If V is three-dimensional vector equal to the vector with initial point at the origin and the terminal point V1, V2, V3, then the component form, it is V1, comma V2, comma V3. Now in this part we have magnitude or length of vector. V equal to, this is from P to Q is non-negative number. Because here we have absolute value of V, V for vector. This is equal to square root of what we had for our component uh, for three dimensional with V1, comma V2, comma V3. So, uh, for all of these, we're going to use second power and add them. So here inside radical, we have v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square. This is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 square. We're trying to find the difference between these two points that we have for p and q to find the distance between these two. So here we have x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square. Now here example find component form and length of the vector with initial point P and terminal point Q. So this word initial point is P and that means here we have this is x1, y1, z1 and we have uh, for Q this is terminal point so this is x2, y2, and z2. So for point A, the standard position vector B representing um, PQ has components. So finally what we have here for these um, V1 is equal to x2 minus x1. x2 is negative 5 minus x1 is negative 3. So this is equal to negative 2. And now for V2, we have Y2 minus Y1. Y2, it is equal to 2. Minus Y1, it is 4. So this is equal to negative 2. And V3 is Z2 minus Z1. Z2 is 2 minus Z1, it is 1. And this is equal to 1. So the component form of PQ 
uh, is equal to negative 2 comma negative 2 comma uh, positive 1. Now for part B, the length or magnitude of three equal to, uh, this is from P to Q is equal to square root of what we have for our component. Uh, here is negative 2 square plus negative 2 square plus 1 square. So this is equal to square root of, we have 4 plus 4 plus 1. So this is 9, square root of 9, it is equal to 3. Now here on this part we have definitions. Let u equal to u1, comma u2, comma u3. So this is our component. And we have under 1 for v. It is v1, comma v2, comma v3. These are vectors with k, a scalar. So here we have addition rule for these two components. U plus V, this is equal to, we're going to use what we have for the first one, U1 plus V1. So it's for this part, comma, U2 plus V2 is for this part, comma. And finally here, U3 plus V3 is what we have here on this part. And for multiplication, um, so scalar multiplication, here we have K times U. So this is what we have for this component. Um, and we're going to multiply each one of these by K. So here in this case, we have K times U1, K times U2, and K times U3. Let U equal to the 1, comma, 3, comma, 1. And V equal to 4, comma, 7, comma, 0. Find components of part A, 2 times U plus 3 times V. So this is equal to 2 times what we have for u, it is negative 1, comma, 3, comma, 1, and then plus 3 times what we have for v, this is equal to this component negative 2, comma, 6, comma, 2, so we multiply by 2, then plus, here on this part we multiply by 3, so we have 3 times 4, it is 12, 3 times 7, it is 21, and 3 times 0, it is 0. And finally add so here we have negative 2 plus 12, it is 10. Um, 6 plus 21, it is 27. And 2 plus 0, it is 2. And here for part B, we have subtraction. So u minus v. This is equal to, we have negative 1 minus positive 4. And we have 3 minus 7, 1 minus 0. So subtracting each of one of these, this is equal to, here we have uh, negative 5, and we have negative 4, and here we have positive 1. And now here on this part, we're trying to find length uh, or magnitude. Here we have 1 over 2 times u. And what we have for u it is negative 1, comma 3, comma 1. So uh, multiply this by 1 over 2. So here on this part, we have 1 over 2 times negative 1, it is negative 1 over 2. 1 over 2 times 3, it is 3 over 2. And 1 over 2 times 1, here we have 1 over 2. So this is equal to the square root of. So use each one of these and numbers, and then we're going to have second power. So here we have negative 1 over 2 squared plus 3 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 squared. So this is equal to square root of 1 over 4 plus 9 over 4 plus 1 over 4. This is equal to square root of 11 uh, over 4. And that is equal to square root of 11 divided by 2. So this is our final answer for this part. Now, in this part, we have properties of vector operations. So here we have these three vectors, u, v, and w, and a and b are scalars. So here, number one, adding 
uh, these two vectors, we have u plus v, uh, this is equal to v plus u, we can switch order. And here, number two, we have u plus v plus w, this is equal to, so I know this parentheses here to this part. So here we have u plus, now we have v plus w inside parentheses. And here, number three, we have u plus zero, that is equal to u. And here we have u plus negative u, here we have positive number. And here we have negative, so adding these two, we have zero. Number five, zero, multiply by uh, this vector, that is equal to zero. One times u, it is equal to u. And here what we have, it is for multiplication. So a times b times this vector u it is equal to now multiply these two. So we have a times b inside parentheses and then multiply by vector multiply by u. And here number eight we have a times u plus b it is equal to so multiply here a times c u and then add a times b, so using distributed property, and number 9, here we have a plus b times u, so this is equal to a times u plus b times u. Unit vectors, vector v of length 1 is called a unit vector, the standard unit vectors are, here we have i equal to 1 comma 0 comma 0, j it is equal to 0 comma 1 comma 0 and k it is equal to 0 comma 0 comma 1 now here example 5 unit 5 vector u and the direction of vector from p1 to p2 so for p1 we have uh, 1 comma 0 comma 1 and for p2 we have 3 comma 2 comma 0 the first step that we have here is uh, find the component form of the vector p1, p2. So we need to subtract coordinates of uh, the point p1 from the coordinates of the point p2. So the first component of a uh, vector p1, p2 is 3 minus 1. The second component is 2 minus 0. And the third component is 0 minus 1. This means that the component form of the vector p1, p2 is 2 to negative 1. This vector does not have length 1, so it's not a unit vector in the right direction. So to get the unit vector in this direction, we will find the magnitude of the vector from p1 to p2. So the magnitude of this vector is going to be the square root of uh, some of the squares of the component. So we have square root of 2 squared plus um, 2 squared plus negative 1 squared. So here is 2 squared, here is 2 squared, and here is negative 1 squared. And this is equal to square root of 9, and that is equal to 3. So you can it a vector u in the direction of p1, p2 is 1 divided by a length of p1, p2 times the component form of p1, p2, which is 2, 2, negative 1. And this is equal to 2 thirds, 2 divided by 3, and negative 1 divided by 3. If we want to write this in terms of standard unit vectors i, j, and k, that would be equal to 2 over 3 times i plus 2 over 3 times j minus 1 over 3 times k. So here again we have a unit vector. v is not equal to 0, so if v not equal to 0, then we have v divided by length of v, so this is also value of v, as given by a vector called the direction of v. And here number two, the equation v equal to, so again, absolute value of v, which is length of v multiplied by v over length of v or magnitude uh, for 
v, the vector expresses v as its length times its direction. So there's this part, which is length times direction, which is that part from number one. Now here our example express this vector negative two i minus six j minus three k as a product of its length and direction. So first finding length this is equal to the square root of negative two square plus negative six square plus negative three square and this is equal to the square root of forty nine and our answer is seven. The direction of the is the vector v divided by length so this is equal to for b we have negative two negative six negative three so negative two divided by um, seven is our length so seven and here we have i plus negative six over seven j plus negative three over seven k and this is equal to negative two over seven i minus six over seven j minus 3 over 7k and finally write the vector as a product of its length and direction so here we have negative 2i minus 6j minus 3k that is equal to uh, what we had for length was equal to 7 so 7 times negative 2 over 7i so using what they have here for direction um, so here we have 7 times negative 2 over 7i minus 6 over 7j minus 3 over 7k. Find the vector of magnitude y in the direction of v equal to 6i minus 8k. So here you represent the vector and here we have u divided by a length that says unit vector in the direction of u. And on this part here we multiply the length y direction and finding what we have for length that is given that is equal to 5 because u and v point in the same direction we have um, same unit vectors so here we have equal to and now finding what we have for v length it is This is for v. That is equal to the square root of. And for v, we had a dust part given. So there's a 6 squared. Plus, we have nothing for um, what we have here in between. So this is 0 squared. So that's 0 times j. And plus, negative 8 squared. This is equal to the square root of. 100 and that is equal to 10. Next step to write each component of v by 10. So here we have 6 over 10 i plus 0 over 10 j plus negative 8 over 10 k simplify. This is equal to 3 over 5 i minus 4 over 5 k. And now finally multiply length so length of u which is equal to 5 by the direction which is equal to 3 over 5 i minus 4 over 5 k so we have this one here and simplify so here it is 3 i minus 4 k So based on what we have here, the vector 3i minus 4k has magnitude 5 and points in the direction of v equal to 6i minus 8k. Now here on this part we have midpoint of the line segment. The coordinates of midpoint are averages of coordinates of p1 and p2. So the midpoint m of the line segment joining points P1 and P2. For P1, we have X1, Y1, Z1, and P2. It is X2, Y2, Z2. At this point, so we will climb to 
add the first component x1 plus x2 and then divide by 2. And for this part here we have um, second component, so y1 plus y2 and then divide by 2. And do the same thing for third component, uh, we have z1 plus z2 divided by 2. So this is what we have for midpoint. So this is what we have for M and now here example of the midpoint of segment joining P1 and P2. P1 it is 3, negative 2, 0 and P2 it is 7, 4, 4. So midpoint it is equal to, uh, here we have 3, here is 7, add these two numbers, divided by 2. And here we have negative 2, here is positive 4. So add these two numbers and then divide by 2. And finally, 0 plus 4 divided by 2. So midpoint it is equal to, we have 10 divided by 2, it is 5. We have 2 divided by 2, it is 1. 4 divided by 2, it is 2. And this is our answer for midpoint.